I want you to watch Judge Slope patiently dealing with um dealing with some members of a, a parliament and showing them that you know what uh, I will I will I, I'm going to give you the entire speech don't worry but it was was busy there exposing them telling them showing them at the same time that listen uh what you are doing you are destroying the judicial system you understand he breaks it down very nicely so what I'm going to be doing in this video I'll, I'll allow you to watch that thing till the end so it's coming don't worry. Just give me time. You know, speaking about the judicial system and it's being destroyed by the very same people that are supposed to be defending that, it's a, call, it's a cause for concern speaking about the budget. Because not long ago, the very same ANC who is now busy cutting budgets, he, Futias, is talking about cutting budget. Peli budget, ya ka tolapa. Hey, what got the billion? Hey, I'm a comrade. Hey, 500 billion squandered, gone by these people. Now, today, instead of them understanding Guti, the judicial system, how it works, and the Uu Judge Shopem talks about 40. Even more cases that get to be postponed because of lack of budget. Uh, Makota understaffed. You know, hey, it raises a lot of questions about the credibility and the interest of EEE, Loki, ANC. What is their interest? Vele, 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 vele. And like, what is their interest? But I know our interest. Mina, I'm not confused. Yeah, but Mina, I know our interest. This is our interest. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay um I, I, just 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 a few seconds guys kindly do me a favor listen to what uja shlop is raising here pay attention to each and every single thing raised by uja shlop and tell me what you think about everything that is being said here uh, pay attention because I'm going to come back again and look at him. I'm going to ask you questions based on what Ucha Chlope had said. So pay attention. Like, pay attention. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wouldn't have said it better, but listen to listen exactly. Listen to exactly what Ucha Chlope is basically saying here. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, Honourable Minister, Deputy Minister, Honourable Members of Parliament, I see some officials. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. I rise here on behalf of the Umkondo Siswe, and our position is very clear. We are vehemently opposed to this budget cut for a number of reasons, including but not limited to the following. Number of my contribution is going to focus on the lower courts and particularly criminal trials. The first problem that everybody knows is the following. Lower courts are, all, are understaffed and the working conditions are deplorable. Now, a further cut on the budget can only make matters worse. We all know, for example, if you go to the uh, magistrate's court now where the, the court is busy, seized with postponements, each magistrate postpones 40 cases per day. 
I would have taught judicial officers read the files before they postpone them. I have no idea how a magistrate can read 40 cases. This leads to my second point. Section 50, subsection 6 of the Criminal Procedure Act makes the following provision. It provides that a matter, a case may be postponed for investigation for a period of up to seven days. Now, where you are a judicial officer and you have 40 cases per day on your postponement roll, right, what happens every day is the following. Magistrates are going to be told that this matter is not right for trial. The matter must be postponed for seven days and the poor accused stays in prison for seven days because we all know that it is very rare that arrests take place after a proper investigation has been done in this country. In an ideal situation, there must be a proper investigation. Once the investigation has been concluded, then the arrest may lawfully follow so that you don't have a situation whereby a poor accused person stays in prison for seven days because the investigation has not been completed. If you think I'm lying, go to the magistrate's court anywhere in the country. You will see that. Provisions of Section 50, Subsection 6 of the Criminal Procedure Act. I move on to my third point. AVR technology has been used even in this country. This is the technology that is used for postponement of cases. The problem, obviously, is load shedding. You can't rely on electricity. As long as we have load shedding in this country, you can't rely on technology, AVR technology for postponing cases. This leads me to the point that the Honorable Minister made about integrated system, right? Maybe it is a solution. I have advocated that for many years that what is needed is an integrated system. You have a center consisting of the judiciary, the police, and the courts. To that end, I try to introduce something very close to that here in the Western Cape. There are five courts that were created. These courts are all in prison, right? So judges go there, and the judges are able to attend to those cases in prison. I wish that could be duplicated elsewhere. The problem is made even worse. I'm talking now about the backlog. The problem is made even worse because of the use of foreign language interpreters. If you get someone from Maputo or any part of the world, it can, from, it can be from Bangladesh. That person, in terms of our constitution, has a right to have the proceedings conducted in a language that he will understand, which means if the person comes from any part of the world, that person has a right to use that language, and the proceedings must be interpreted to him. We don't have enough foreign language interpreters. This impacts further on the waiting period, and there are people who are uh, languishing in prison as a result of this. The other point I want to make is this. The resources are limited, and one would have expected the prosecuting authorities to use those resources wide, wisely. Not widely, but wisely. I've seen instances, and I prefer not to mention anyone, where the, the prosecutors have charged accused for what appears to be clearly a common assault case you find that the accused is charged in the regional court, right? For common assault, you ask yourself, who is, the, who, are, who is sought to be placed by the prosecutors? I prefer not to mention any name. It was a high-profile person from one of the political parties. The charges against him, he was convicted of assault GBH. In my view, that conviction cannot stand. It should have been common assault. It was an open clap, not even a fist. 
So that, in my view, that trial should never have taken place in the regional court. It was an abuse of state resources to teach him a lesson. It was clearly an abuse Madam. of state resources. That trial should only Honorable have taken Dr. place. Dr. Unfortunately, your time has expired. For the reasons stated above, we are vehemently opposed to the budget cuts. Thank you. Okay, okay. Now, number one, I want to understand from you guys, a good team, if you look at the the judicial system and the number of cases that they've got to they've got to do out look at they've got to look at the, the postpone. Don't you see or don't you think that them cutting a budget yeah, that is uh, that has to do with Amar judges? Don't you think that don't you see that uh, that's a direct that they are directly depriving you uh, you justice because if they are cutting it they're cutting the budget the question that you have to ask is if they are cutting their budget how many more of case postponement that we're going to be seeing uh from now going forward to get a point so that's what i'm saying don't you don't you see or don't you know that these people are directly affecting you right from uh, like from or from getting justice in any way shape or form but number two uh, people are unemployed, and you are hearing that people are understaffed uh, within the the judicial. And you're asking yourself, why don't you employ that pe- people? Why don't you give them immense power there by employing people that needs to be employed in that space, right? And that that yet the very same ANC claim to be fighting or claim to be ending poverty. How are they ending poverty when they are when they when when they perpetuate the very same poverty they claim to be ending, like right now? Um, my argument is that right now, if born about they are ending poverty, but there are spaces there, they could have just increased the budget and hire people. And it speaks of job creation. How much more? How much more evidence do you want us to give you to prove that ANC has ceased to be for the people, but now it looks like ANC is against the people? Like, I'm interested to know. Um. What, like, tell me something. What What do you want? What do you want? What more evidence now do you want? Because, oh, ah, ah, minang sas, yes. Yenza jan, yo lal, niagel. Ang, mo, ang sas, yes. Just these two points alone are enough to, to say, hey, guys, be careful of how you vote. You can't vote for people who doesn't care about you, especially after voting for them. You can't vote for for such people. You can't. You must punish them. You know. But again, ANC will self-correct. Even today, I will vote ANC. ANC will self-correct. ANC will come back. Well, Few more, few days later after voting, the ANC just decide we're not gonna create jobs for you anyway. So what are gonna do? Few days after that, the ANC brings you load reduction. I'm just wondering, Loma Koko Wayete, ANC will self-correct. I'm hoping and wishing Gutierrez she doesn't stay in darkness, because wow, what ANC will self-correct during during campaign there was no load shedding whatsoever. Now load shedding is back in full swing. Uh, right, okay. Right now, they've announced a load reduction. There was no load reduction before, look, before Emma elections, right? Now, there's load reduction. We say, okay, okay, okay. So, I'm just saying, good guys, they are cutting budget instead of hiring you, and when are you still gonna go there, vote for them? Hi, Nang Sazban Loengan. I answer this.